Hi guys, my name is Bina James and welcome to a tour of all the new futuristic architect homes that have been released into Sims Freeplay. These were released on the 24th of February 2017. We have 10 homes all together and I think if you like the kind of sci-fi, the blue and white furniture, then you are going to love these homes because all of these are available for simoleons and a lot of this sci-fi furniture is for LP, so you're going to get a load of LP stuff for simoleons if you build these houses, which is awesome. We always like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first house. Here's the first house. This is a one story and can be built on a standard size lot. And oh my goodness, just check out all of this sci-fi furniture. I mean, just the kitchen is probably, I don't even know how many LPs. Like, I think the, the units are between two or three, up to maybe five or six LPs for each individual unit. Wow, we have a load of LP stuff. The onion, the, is it called onion? The blue onion um, bathroom furniture is worth SP, maybe around like 10 SP for each of these items, I think. We have a bed as well, a blue onion. Am I completely wrong in calling that onion? I think I am correct in calling it the blue onion uh, furniture stuff. There's just so, so much. Oh my goodness, I think I may have to build this house. It's only the first one. And oh look, we get a little uh, dance floor break mat thing that I think is SP or LP. There's so much stuff in this house. Yeah, that is, yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to like them all, to be honest. Here is the second house. This is, oh, two floors. And again, oh, we've just got so, so much of this LP stuff. How do we go upstairs? Have we not got stairs? I'm not sure whether we have stairs or not. But anyway, again, we have got sci-fi kitchen, which is worth loads of SP. We have a fish tank as well. Not SP, sorry, LP. Okay, we have a fish tank, which you can't get unless you have use real money. I think that's still the case. Anyway, it used to be the case. All oh, this sci-fi furniture. Wow, a glitter ball. SP or LP, definitely. And we have a cool computer, one of those like dual screen gaming computers at the back. Upstairs. Like I said, I don't know how we get upstairs. Maybe I'm missing something. Is that, is this the, the transporter thing, or is this a shower? Not the transporter, I don't know what it's called, but I, those things that like are the stairs. No, I think it's a shower. I could do with some of those. I hope people have put some of those in anyway, because uh, you can't get them in the game anymore. Loads of sci-fi stuff. I like the way they've used the pink flowers. That looks really cute. We have some candy cane doors, which is kind of odd, but yeah, I mean, it looks quite cool, actually. There's just so so much there's not as many maybe lp stuff upstairs as there is downstairs but yeah i mean <laughs> worth building for the uh for all the stuff there's quite a lot of sci-fi windows as well this is the third sci-fi house and it is a two-story can be built on a standard size lot we have a little pool with this one let's take a look first floor loads of kitchen units so if you want kitchen units this might be the house to build and some of the oh, the blue onion Dining chairs there, the blue onion bath and uh, sink and toilet. Loads of stuff. Let's go up. We have these party, I don't know what they're called, like arches. I think they may be kind of limited or not available anymore or something along those lines. And what have we got? Yeah, just... And yeah, I mean, not massive amount of the furniture in this build, as opposed to like the other ones, maybe. But still, I don't recognise those chairs. Still maybe worth a build, just for the, maybe the, um, oh, excuse that, uh, the kitchen stuff. There's so much kitchen stuff in this. Here is the fourth house, and oh my goodness, it just seems like they've just packed all the sci-fi stuff in it. <gasps> Yes, look, I'm going to build this definitely because I want some of these. This is cool. Yeah, the other the other things before were showers. This has got so much. Maybe don't build the previous house. Maybe build this one instead because this has got probably more of the kitchen, the sci-fi kitchen stuff. Plus it's got these, I wish I could remember what they're called. The stair things. It trans doesn't transport you, does it? What does it do? What's the word I'm looking for? Let me know in the comments. You know, from downstairs to upstairs. It's like a lift, but like a sci-fi version of that. I can't think of the word at all. I can never remember the word when I'm recording a video. 
uh, what else have we got? Some baths, showers, toilets. I don't feel like this is a house. I feel like this is something else. I mean, it, I don't know what this is, <laughs> to be honest. And then outside, oh. Let's have a look what this house actually just looks like as a whole. Oh, wow. Look at all those windows. I love this. We have some of the SP, uh, SP windows at the back here on these. On these little uh, like building things. I like this. That looks really cool. Let's have a look. Wow. I love this. Have they just built like one massive room upstairs and then kind of separated it with these wardrobes or cupboards? I can't remember whether they're wardrobes or cupboards. But that is so cool. Yeah, look, we've got like a couple of bedrooms up here. Three, four bedrooms. I've never thought of that, of like using the furniture as kind of room dividers. That's a cool idea. I, I think I am going to be building that house. Good job, whoever built it. This is the fifth house, standard size lot. Look at all these SP windows. There is a ton of them. How many floors? We have two floors. It's got like a balcony going all the way around it. I love how it looks. We have got the... Oh, I so wish I knew what they were called. Those stairs things. Sorry, excuse the Instagram. And yeah, just loads of sci-fi furniture. <laughs> so many. If you want any of these clear windows, which I think are like a massive, everyone loves them. I think um, you see them on quite a lot of builds. They're one of the like the most commonly used windows, I think. So if you want a ton of them, I like this build. Let's go up and oh. What is this bath? I've never before seen this bath ever. Somebody let me know down below in the comments. Is it an old style bath? It's not, no, it's not an ice bath, is it? No. Let me know what that is all about, that bath. Because I really like the look of it. Look at it, it like, kind of like glows. Looks cool. Uh, we have some fish tanks in this. I'm going to have to build this. I'm going to have to build this house. Hopefully... We have these architect homes for a long enough time, so I have a chance to build them. That was one of the things I think I've talked about previously, that we could do like a countdown or something, so we know when the architect homes are disappearing and we're getting different ones, because all of a sudden, they just kind of go and you don't know that they've gone and you might have wanted to build another one, because each time at the moment when I build a house, it takes three days for me to build a new house, so obviously I can't really build that many of them, because sometimes they're only around for maybe like a week or so before we get new ones. Right, anyway, let's move on to the next house. We have the sixth house here, and this is a large house with a basement. Yes, with a basement. We have a huge pool and kind of just random stuff out here on the lawn. It kind of looks like we have fireworks. We have a huge big Buddha. These are cool, these houses. I think they're available really late on in the game, like maybe level 55 or something. Let's have a little look at the house, though. What are these things? Like these ice sculpture things? Have I missed something here? What are they? Somebody let me know down in the comments, please, if you know. Are they things from the ice sculpture event thing that we've been doing? Can we, like... I don't know. I feel like they are, but I've never seen them before. I sound really dumb. I'm sorry. Somebody let me know what's going on with those, please. <laughs> Again, like with all of these, a lot of the LP sci-fi furniture we have an arcade machine there or a pinball machine if you haven't unlocked the ice capade no not ice capade um arch architect what am i talking about arcade over on the island i think that's what you get those from what else do we have yeah just m just more of the same more of the furniture this is quite good I'm, <laughs> i want to build this one as well let's go down and yeah oh look at all this there's just so much. I really want to build it. Let's go up to the next floor upstairs. Nothing major on that floor. We do have some of the SP windows and the uh, exercise bike that was a prize from the Seniors Quest, I think. Here is the seventh house, and this is a standard... Oh, my goodness, it goes up three floors, but it's a standard-sized house. Again, I'm going to keep saying it, more SP furniture, not SP furniture, sorry, um, LP sci-fi furniture in this, just loads of it, just absolutely loads, and I think actually this is maybe a remodel of the sci-fi house that you get, it kind of looks, the shape kind of looks familiar, 
to me. Let's go up. Wow, there's so much going on with this. We have some exercise bikes here. I'm not kind of this. I mean, let me just see what this house looks like. Oh, look, we have the what are these called? Sundials. Loads of these sundials. This is a kind of cool little structure, to be quite honest. I like it. Although it's confusing my eyes trying to look at it. Ah, so much sci fi furniture. Do we have anything else that's LP or limited or anything? And then up to the next floor. I have no idea what this build is. If somebody, if the person who built this by chance is watching this or who somebody knows who built this or whatever, please let me know like what is it supposed to be kind of thing because it's cool but it just, I just don't understand it. Here is the eighth house and we have a three story Wow, three-story standard size lot house. Let's take a little look. Again, loads of sci-fi furniture. Let's look for other things other than loads of the sci-fi furniture. Is this one of those stairs, up and down transporter stair things? Yes, look, there it is. Look, there's the shower and the, that's what they look like together. You can see how I can get a little bit confused with that. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. And, oh, we have a lot of these transportery things. So this maybe have to be built as well. I can't, I haven't got the, well, what is this? <gasps> I think this is what I missed out on from one of the events. I am, you know, the events that we get at the, the professions, uh, like, you know, the movie career and the police and the film makers thing. I am absolutely hopeless at those events and I hardly ever, ever complete them. And this was a prize, I think, from one of them. I'm going to have to build this house because I really want this. I just failed on the one that was just ended maybe yesterday, which was the where you won that big cinema TV. Desperately wanted that, but I didn't complete it. Which is so annoying because it's kind of like it's just a big waste of resources. Oh, look, we have a, a gaming dual screen computer there. Yeah, I'm going to build this house. Absolutely, definitely going to build that house. Here's the ninth house we have. Oh, I want this one as well. I am not going to have the time to build all of these, but look at all these transporter things that we get. We get so many of them. I oh, this is this is hard. Right, let's go down. We get some of the orange onion furniture, whatever that is called. So many of these transporter -y things. Another dual computer. Look, these ice sculptures, are, how could I have missed it? If they are part of the ice sculpture event, how can I have missed that? I'm a dope. Let's go up to the next floor. <sighs> so much stuff. So much that I want to build. And up again, yeah, just just loads of, loads of sci-fi furniture, loads of these transporter things. I want to build this one too. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, though. Look at the build, actually. Whoa. That's cool. I like how that looks. That looks awesome. I'm going to use that as the thumbnail, I think. And here we have our... Oh. <laughs> here we have our final house, and it was nothing like I expected it compared with all the other ones. This is a standard-sized house. Doesn't, at the moment, look futuristic. I wonder if it's going to get futuristic. Ooh. Intriguing. Okay. Let's let's check this out. Is it like a hotel? It looks like maybe this is like the reception area. And oh, a huge loads of these urban are they called urban trees? I feel like they are. I think this is a hotel, yeah. Oh I love these lights. They're LP or SP. Oh, I wanna build this. Let's take a look at what the house looks like. Full Whoa, look at this. Okay, I've changed my mind. This might be the thumbnail. I'm not sure. Whoa, are they like, oh, it's a helipad. Oh, that is an amazing idea. They've used those lights to make a H for helipad. This is awesome, whoever built this. Let's go back down. Right, this is amazing. This is not a futuristic home whatsoever, but it's amazing. Okay, here's the hotel. No, sorry, not his hotel. Here's the second floor. Quite a lot of the urban furniture. In this, 
Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. Look, here's a bit of sci-fi stuff on this floor. This is cool. Wow, okay. I I just like that. That is just it's just something I've not seen before. I love it when you see new original cool ideas. I have not seen a helipad anywhere before. There you go guys, that completes the tour of all 10 of these new architect homes. Let me know down below, are you building any of these? If you don't, I think you are a fool, to be quite honest, because I pretty much want to build all of them, but as you can see there, three days. It takes me three days to build a house, and they are pretty expensive for me to be building. Like the last one, it's gonna cost me nine and a half million. That's a lot, a lot of simoleons, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with them. I like those a lot. Let me know what you think of them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching.